back i am rajesh and today i am going to tell you about the overtaking side distance its factor and its assumption let me define you so let me define you first what is overtaking side distance suppose this is fast moving vehicles its speed is 80 km per hour and this is slow moving vehicles its speed is 16 km per hour so this fast moving vehicles will overtake to the slow moving vehicles so during the overtaking the distance covered by the fast moving vehicles is known as overtaking side simply distance. you can define the overtaking side distance as planning to overtake the slow moving vehicles along with the safety on the road against the traffic of opposite vehicles or opposite direction is known as overtaking side distance so this is overtaking vehicles and this is overtaken vehicles overtaking means fast moving vehicles and overtaken means slow moving vehicles now let's see more figure on the overtaking side distance for better understanding suppose this is the road the road is like this <coughs> this is vehicles here it is also vehicles this is going this is going and this is coming it means this is a opposite vehicles and this is the driver so then this is the eye level so the eye level of the driver between the road surface or above the road surface is 1.2 meter and this is also the eye level of the driver is 1.2 meter so in the overtaking side distance the level of the the eye level of the driver is 1.2 meter and the this object level is also 1.2 meter so in this case both the both are same but in a stopping side distance the eye level of the driver is 1.2 meter and the object is 0.15 meter but in this case both are same so this distance is called the OSD overtaking side distance so this is vehicles this is overtaking vehicles this is this vehicle is so you can name as a and b so a is overtaking vehicles and b is overtaken overtaken vehicles and this vehicle you can name as c so this is opposite vehicles c is opposite vehicles or you can say oncoming vehicles so the speed of the a vehicles is 80 km per second suppose this is 60 km this is 40 km so the speed of the speed is 80 km per hour suppose suppose b vehicles speed is 60 km per hour and C vehicle's speed is suppose 40 km per hour. So, speed if, if the speed is 80 km, 60 km, 40 km. So, these are the different speed. These are different speeds. So, this different speeds are known as the mixed traffic so this curve is what vertical curve uh, vertical summit curve you can say vertical summit curve vertical summit curve you can define as if the point of vertical intersection is above the road surface then the curve obtained is known as 
vertical submit code now let's see the factors what are the factors on which overtaking side distance depends factors on OSD overtaking side distance <coughs> so its factor depends upon the speed suppose this vehicle's speed is more and this vehicle's speed is low so fast moving vehicles will overtake to the slow moving vehicles so this distance so this gap between this vehicles and this vehicles is depends on the vehicles and its driver's skills so this is the so the first factor is speed second is distance So the distance between these vehicles and these vehicles, how much distance is there on the road between the overtaking vehicles and overtaken vehicles. So, so its factors depends upon the road. So that is distance. Moving on to the third factors that is gradient. So the gradient is depends upon the speed of the opposite vehicles. So let's see in the figure. So this is the fast mo moving vehicles. This is ongoing vehicles and this is <coughs> oncoming vehicles, opposite vehicles. So this opposite vehicles will not take any effort to get down or to move down <coughs> because this vehicles is in this level. So this vehicles can easily go down. And these vehicles will take more effort to go up because it is in the slope, it is going upward. So it take more times, it take more efforts to <coughs> go up. <coughs> so it depends on the gradient. So that is the gradient. You might have noticed in the village. <coughs> what the villagers do? They turn off their fuel mode in this position. In this position because they are trying to save their fuel this is interesting so that is gradient now, let's see its assumption assumption of OSD overtaking side distance so its assumption is what to overtake the solo moving vehicles to overtake the Solo vehicles. You can say like this. You can take if there is no opposite vehicles. If there is no opposite vehicles on the road, you can move freely. or you can cross the road freely i mean so this is the assumption of this next part i mean its derivation part you will see in the next video till then keep watching keep supporting to us